February 17, 2011. From Comedy Central's World News Headquarters in New York, this is The Daily Show with John... Welcome back to The Daily Show. I'm John Stewart. We're here today with Mr. Carl Marx. How are you? I'm fine, John. Just fine. That's good. Carl is known as for being the father of communism. So my first question to you is, describe communism. That's easy. Communism is a system of social organization based on the holding of all property in common, actual ownership being ascribed to the community as a whole or to the state. In other words, it is just where everyone and all properties are shared equally and no one is above or below anyone. Very interesting. How did your mother and father influence you to think this way? Well, my mother was semi-literate, so that inspired me to be better. And my father to pay for me to go to college was helped. But my true in influences in life were researching philosophers like Adam Smith and my good friend Engels, with whom I, wa I wrote the Communist Manifesto. Overall, do you think communism was a plus to our society? Or that it would have made the world a better place if you never came up with it? Well, John, I think communism had the potential to be a great idea, but it was put in the hands of the wrong people like Lenin and Stalin. And what they did with it was terrible because of how many people they killed. Also, another deterring factor was that some of the workers wouldn't produce what they were supposed to produce. And under the lines of communism, they had the right to be paid and treated the same because if they weren't, it wouldn't be equal and would flaw the system. There were a lot of good things about communism. What would you say most of those were? The pros in communism were that all products and rights are equally shared. Private property no longer exists. The public owns all to ensure equality. Also, another important thing was that before the I came with communism, there was the bourgeoisie and the proletariats. But in my idea of communism, they would combine to form one working class that is equal. In retrospect, what were the cons? Ideologically, there were no cons. But in practicality, it would never work because of uh, the nature of humans and their greediness. As I understand, you were a journalist. Yes, I was. Did you ever feel the urge to quit and just give up when they said that you were too radical and they wouldn't publish your work? No. Them not publishing my work inspired me to become better, because it showed that they were, it showed that they were looking at my work in a different way, and they were rejecting it, which showed that I had some power over, over the people, and that they were afraid. When you were in school, you were you were coming to becoming a lawyer. Why did you switch to philosophy? Well, I did like lawyer at the beginning. But I was never truly interested in it, because what I was truly interested in was philosophy. Because when I grew up, I was always asking questions and trying to answer them myself. What is your opinion about the Industrial Revolution? My opinion on the Industrial Revolution was that it was good, and it helped the world as it is right now, because of all the products and all the factories and all the great parts that came from it. But under the circumstances it was under, it would never work because of how badly people were treated and how they would lose arm and, arm and leg here and there, and it would just be terrible. So overall, if you could do it all again, would you do, would you do anything different, or would you just keep it the same way? Uh, obviously, I would have done it different, or else everyone would be communist nowadays. But I would have uh, tried to implement it myself into a, a country's system. And because me and Frederick Engels were the only ones who truly knew how it was supposed to be and how to implement it. One last thing. If you could give any advice to, let's say, a revolting union in Wisconsin, what would it be? I would tell them to never give up on what their beliefs are and to keep on revolting until they get what they want. Well, it was nice having you on the show, Carl. It was nice to be here. And here's a moment of zen.